It is What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn, your uh, host, ready to take you through the stories that have been trending all week on Facebook, Twitter, all those other sites that I'm too old to use, the news newspapers and that sort of thing. And the guy to fill in all those sites that I'm too old to use is my uh, my smoking hot young uh, producer friend over here, Matt Bassant, <laughs> joining me. Too old to use? <laughs> well, I don't know. What is it? like? I don't know if you cite that, newspaper in there. What's I, that I blog so. site? WordPress? What's Word, it called? Oh, wait. Oh, blogger? Blo- no. There's That's another the one. No, no. There's the blog site. that Tumblr. Tumblr. I don't have one of those yet. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you don't have a Tumblr, Reddit. Foursquare, Stumble? You don't have any of I have a there? Foursquare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, did you say Stumbler? Stumble upon. Oh, I do not have that. Uh, don't even know. It's, it's, I have stumbled upon a few things, though. It Stumble upon is an awesome site. Pretty sure this is why I'm not a uh, uh, broadcaster in the Hall of Fame yet, and that is because I start a show called What's Trending Today telling you why I'm too old to do it. <laughs> I'm really not. Really. <laughs> Super <Okay>. young. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Totally this young. This is going well. You know, you can't blame me, though, because following social media this week, all I can think of is award shows, football, and terrorism. Award shows, football, terrorism. That's all. <laughs> it's just like shaking around in my brain. <laughs> that's quite the collection of stuff. <laughs> well, that's what's been trending this week. So I guess we could start with our little sports update and say congratulations to the four teams, although only one of them are the team that I was rooting for. Going ahead to uh, the playoffs this weekend, so uh, the Patriots and the Colts will square off. I, You know, as much as I was rooting for the Broncos, I guess I'd like to see the Colts upset the Patriots, but you know what? Don't think it's going to happen, so I'm going to pretend to be old Mike Horn and Fred Dreyer from the PM Show here on CRN, and I'm going to take the Patriots in the points because I'm sure they're favored. And then we have Green Bay squaring off against Seattle, and I will take Green Bay till the day I die because yeah. those Seattle Seahawks are street dogs if I have ever oh, seen they're them. They're not Oakland. Come on. Oh, no. Oakland's, okay, Oakland's fans are mean. The team of Oakland... Probably not that bad. Oh, we all know the only reason why they win is because they mugged the team the night before. <laughs> the Seattle Seahawks, though. <laughs> Man, did you see, did you watch any of the the football games last weekend, Matt? No, I didn't. There was a play, and I can't remember who did it, but there was a play. The Seattle was on defense, and, um, uh, the, uh, da- no, who were they playing? Oh my gosh. Carolina. Carolina was kicking to do a field goal. Oh, I know what you're talking and about. And the defenseman jumped over two lines of football players. And I don't know if you noticed, but the football players, not small people. <laughs> They're not. He just cleared them. He cleared two rows of them, jumped over and like got in the kicker's face, actually, and got himself in trouble because he hit the kicker. You can't do that. Interference. We do yeah, pla- he, fa- flag on the play. The kicker, Gotta be careful. The kicker that. ended up uh, making the, the field goal. He he did anyway. So, ha ha, Seattle. <laughs> you really so, don't like Seattle. No, I really don't. Plus, I never like the team that's won. Like, I always like the underdog. <laughs> okay. I don't know. All right, we have lots of uh, hard news to get to next, as they say in the biz. We're going to talk about the uh, latest on the terrorist attacks. John Kerry making a heartwarming presentation in the City of Lights. We'll talk about that, and uh, also a law that I am actually behind. Usually, when they pass laws, I'm like, ugh, not another one. This one, I'm behind. I'll tell you what it is. And the flu vaccine causing more trouble than it's worth Yeah, yeah. seems to be the story of the day. Plus, we have lots of fun stuff as well. I mean, it is award season. We've got the Critics' Choice, Lame. the Golden Globes, Lame. Oscar nominations, Lame. lots of celebrity news. Lame. Tara Reid news? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Don't forget to check us out on the web, CRN Talk dot com forward slash what's trending today jennifer and matt Bisson's back in just a few here on crn your home of great comedy the showroom at south point presents rob schneider guys are much more insecure stand-up comic and veteran of nbc's saturday night live you never hear a guy go up to another guy and go wow january 16th and 17th you're a really beautiful guy tickets at the box office online at southpointcasino.com or charge by phone 702-797-8055 i like what you do with your eyebrows rob schneider at the south point Must be 18 or older the showroom at south Point presents singer songwriter Tommy Rowe. Remember? Sweet little Sheila, you know. 
Romero. Live on stage January 23rd through the 25th. Tickets to the box office. Online at sunpointcasino.com or charge by phone. 702-797-8055. Tommy Rowe at the South Point. Jumping right back into it, it is what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. That's Matt Bassans. And, uh, Matt, I always love to have your perspective in here because you're kind of, I would say, politically... Incorrect. Uh, incorrect, for sure. <laughs> and I'd say you're probably a libertarian more than you are anything else. Absolutely. All right. So uh, we'll we'll get your perspective on what's been going on. Of course, last week we covered uh, the awful events that transpired throughout Paris at the offices of Charlie Hebdo magazine, also the shootout at that kosher market in Paris. Yeah. And uh, as a result of that, uh, Paris had a, a march this weekend where 40 world leaders all except for President Obama, showed up to walk in solidarity saying, we are now at war with radical Islam, and we are going to take these people on. We do accept that jihad. I mean, when you say we shouldn't declare war on a religion, they've kind of declared war on us first. They, a jihad is a religious word. That's what they've declared. Yeah. People say it all the time. So it's, mm-hmm. I'm glad to see it's a that, holy war. Yes, I'm glad to see that these countries are standing up and saying, hey, we're not going to sit around and take it. Uh our country was under attack because President Obama chose, or his administration chose, not to send anybody of a high level to walk in this march. There was an ambassador there. The U.S. ambassador to France was there. No one really knows who that is. I'd give you 50 bucks right now if you can name her. Nope. <laughs> See? So you had Attorney General Eric Holder, who was in town in Paris dur- at the time of this march, who could have easily joined, but decided he wanted to go back home, so he did not take part. Secretary of State Kerry was in India. He wasn't there. President Obama, not clear what he was doing. People said he was home watching football. I wouldn't be surprised. And Joe Biden was probably, you know, playing with his Lincoln logs or something. Yeah, I don't something know. like this. <laughs> uh, at least, if not the president, maybe the VP. Yeah, you got to have somebody. High well, especially with has to go. John Kerry and Eric Holder. They needed to be one of them. I mean, they were already there. It's not like they had to make a special trip. Security was already cleared for Eric Holder. I would just, you know, it's kind of an embarrassment. And I think it also looks very arrogant that we weren't there. And even if you don't believe in what's what you don't believe in this war, if President Obama doesn't want to declare on on extreme war on extremists, which he's been very clear, he doesn't like to use the word Islam when he's talking about these kind of attacks. The networking opportunities alone for the people that were there would have been incredibly important. I mean, he had, you had Saudi Arabian, Saudi Arabia was represented, Jordan. These are people that you don't see very often together, together and out. I mean, just a very big missed opportunity. Now, as a result of that, uh, the gathering of intelligence throughout Paris has led to this a huge network of stuff going on all throughout Europe, outside of France. And so these officials, French, German, and Belgian police, arrested more than two dozen suspects in anti-terrorism raids this week as European authorities rushed to thwart more attacks by people with links to Islamic extremists in the Mideast. Rob Wainwright is the head of police agency Europol, and he told the AP that foiling terror attacks had become extremely difficult because of the large population of Europe's radicalized Muslim extremists. There's about 5,000 of them right now that they're following, and there's a very small command structure. So they're becoming more sophisticated. We need to keep up with them is the bottom line. There was a bomb scare this week in Paris. If you if you um, go back a few days yeah. in Belgium, not only were 12 people arrested, but two were actually killed as they uh, took what was called an imminent their terror th- threat off the table. Um, and law enforcement said that it was a, an attack on police in Belgium. And it was about, I think, 80 miles southeast of Brussels, so just outside of the, the capital there. And uh, those that was taken away, all because of intelligence, which, again, Matt, puts this really important highlight on the fact that we need to start collecting it, intelligence and maybe stop with the drone strikes. I mean, I think drone strikes are great when they're used effectively, but when you are just blowing people into smithereens, you can't really tap into what's in their head. You can't get them to talk. And um, I would hope that the administration would use those drone strikes, not give them up, but use them in the right way so that we can still try to catch people 
and get the information that we need out of him. Jack Bauer, if you ever watched 24, would never stand for a drone attack. He'd want to get in there, get the guy, make the guy talk. Torture is still illegal, right? Well, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> in certain cases, I uh, I could tr- I might be able to Stan, turn a blind eye. I like to call it coercion. <laughs> <laughs> is that, what, is that that's your workaround? Coercion. That's my word. I'm going to coerce you into telling you what I want to know. <laughs> I'm going to subject you to uh, Charlie Hebdo drawings. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, to make up for our lack of attendance oh at God. the rally in Paris, where three million people, it's reported, turned out, John Kerry got to Paris a few days late, dollar short, <laughs> and showed up there this week, and he brought along a special guest. Did you hear about this? No. I don't pay attention to any of this nonsense. You're going to... Just hold on to your hat. <laughs> he brought along James Taylor. Why? <laughs> what are you, doing? you can't even make this stuff up. This is so what? surreal. So here comes Carrie limping into Paris a few days late with his, you know, India snow globe. And he's got James Taylor in tow. And he stands in front of the Paris people and says, I, I brought you a present. Here he is. James Taylor. And James Taylor sings, You've Got a Friend. And that's how he says the U.S. is showing solidarity. That's that's probably why he was late. He was trying to secure James Taylor. Oh, that'll be a good idea. Uh, (laughs) My people are in negotiations with his people. (laughs) I mean, are these, are they nuts? Are they out of touch? Yes. James Taylor. And if you go on Facebook right now, Matt, you will see James Taylor is trending everywhere because nobody Uh. can believe that Kerry brings James Taylor to France to try to make everything right. I want to know if this was his brainchild, if this was an Obama thing. Like, if there was some advisor that said, you know, we hit a little snafu. The people of the world weren't happy we didn't show up in this rally. Let's do something big. You think James Taylor paid them for the uh, public publicity? Oh, gosh, I don't know. God, scandalous. We better do something big. Let me think. Hmm. <laughs> popsicles for everybody? No, something bigger. I'd be down for popsicles. Oh, uh, yeah. James Taylor. Let's do that. Are you out of your... Do these people know what this looks like? This is a... I mean, I'm sorry. This is an administration that knows about optics. This is how they got elected. This guy is a campaigner. And this is what they're doing? Bringing James Taylor to try to make everything okay after, like, a mil, you know, 12 people were killed at Charlie Hebdo? Mm. <sighs> Better take my blood pressure medicine. Yeah, it's a slippery. I don't have that yet, but it, I'm sure it's coming. Uh, it's a slippery slope. It's, no, it really is. <laughs> James Taylor, it, yes. It, it, James Taylor, you got a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a slippery slope because I, I don't know. Winter, I don't, spring, summer, or terrorism. <laughs> All you got to do is... Okay, no. All oh, right. no, wait. I was going to start clapping. Uh, I just stop. Oh, well, you know. You keep going. All right, my favorite law, this one I promised you... As I mentioned, you know, usually when the government passes something, you go, oh, no, not something else I have to think about. This is great, and it all starts in Arizona. God love them. If it weren't so hot, I would move there. Arizona will become the first state to require students to pass a civics test before they can graduate from high school. Oh, thank God. Do you know how great this is? This is going to begin with the class of 2017, and students will have to prove That they know the history and the workings of the American government before they can receive their diplomas. I say yes, because civics is missing from school. No one knows how it works. This is going to help young people who think there's no chance that I can ever change anything. When you know how the system works, you become empowered and you can make changes and you don't feel like you're just a lame duck. And I think this is so great. Yay, Arizona. Maybe the next thing is uh, adult education classes. You know, how to be an adult in this world. Yeah, that would be great, too. We should actually pass that. Home loans, (sighs) etc. Responsibility. Yeah, there you go. So this is going to make you uh, get 60 out of 100 questions to pass. A 60% starting in 2017. I love it. What's trending today? More up ahead on CRN Digital Talk Radio. You're experiencing pain, back pain, shoulder, elbow, or hand pain, pain from a sports injury. If so, schedule a visit with Dr. Michael Sheps, the leading expert in laser therapy for pain management. 
call 310-873-4422 or go to drsheps.com. Experience Epic T, the breakthrough laser therapy system that Dr. Sheps developed to make you pain-free in less time. Laser therapy is a non-invasive, safe, and effective in-office procedure that penetrates deep into your skin without damaging the tissue. It perfectly targets areas of pain to promote fast, natural healing. Relax your muscles, ease muscle spasms, joint stiffness, and arthritis pain while increasing blood circulation. For over 25 years, Dr. Sheps has helped Olympic athletes and sports enthusiasts alike get back in the game. Schedule your visit with Dr. Sheps at his Brentwood office in California. Call 310-873-4422 or visit drsheps.com. That's D-R-S-H-E-P-S.com, 310-873-4422. CRN Travelers, relax at the beautiful Fountain Grove Inn and Conference Center in Santa Rosa, California. Come to quality and come to luxury. Experience the newly renovated guest rooms. They're generously sized and they're decorated in the Tuscan tradition. They have great, incredible pillow-top mattresses, luxurious linens, and down-filled comforters. The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi and Internet access. There's warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and you can visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar. It's the ideal place to relax and enjoy a glass of wine and watch our What's Cooking on Wine show on CRN with host Larry Van Alst on Wednesdays. It's the Fountain Grove Inn, Hotel, and Conference Center located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country. It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit FountainGroveInn.com. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non profit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. 1 800 785 9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now 1 800 785 9618. That's 1 800 785 9 Shake it up Shake it up Shake it up It's what's trending today on CRN Digital Shake Talk Radio up. I'm Jennifer Horan. That is Matt Besson. Hi. And uh, don't know if you heard about this, but uh, the CDC has some bad news for us. Uh, uh, well, not for us so much, Matt, because you and I didn't get the flu does, shot. Does anything good come out of the CDC? You know, it's <laughs> a very good point. Usually it's all full of warnings and doom and gloom. Exactly. Ebola. Uh, this year's flu vaccine. Only 23% effective, according to estimates now from the CDC. Oh. And that figure is on the low side of effective effectiveness for flu vaccines. Uh, they've confirmed earlier speculation among public health officials that this season's, this season's vaccine was a poor match for the viruses in circulation. And, you know, I believe it. Everybody's been sick. I don't know. I think I had the flu. Uh, mm-hmm. I, you know, and this cough that remains after the flu kind of left my body is still happening. It's been... What, three or four weeks since I got sick? And I'm st- probably four weeks, and I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think that might be something I gave you. <laughs> I, well, that might be true. <laughs> I just had a case of the Ebola myself. <laughs> oh. In the 10 years that the CDC has been studying flu vaccine effectiveness, seasonal vaccines have ranged anywhere from 10% to 60% in their effectiveness to prevent flu-related visits to medical practices. This one, on the very low end, they say that it's uh, genetic changes in the dominant flu strain this season, which, by the way... And it changes you, every year. It does. And if you want to impress your friends, this year's flu strain, H3N2. So, oh, woo. Yeah. Not to be confused, H1N1, I believe, was the bird flu, if I remember uh, correctly. Yes. Is that the right? avian flu. Correct. Very good. Look at you, the avian flu. Dude, that you know what makes point. me nervous when you go to the airport? And usually there are foreign 
people that do this. But the people that walk Jeez. through the airport with the death mask on their face. Oh, yeah. That freaks me out a little bit. Because I think either they have released something on me and they don't want to catch it. <laughs> you, or they have something. Think- they have something already. That is so dangerous. They've chosen to put a piece of cardboard over their nostrils and their mouth. You think they infected themselves? And that cardboard themselves. is not enough to protect me you, because you, you think that they poisoned the airport and wore the mask. Pretty much, and that they've <laughs> slobbered on my tray table, and I'm just a willing target. I'm a sponge oh to clean up God. all of their nasty. Where does that mentality come from? From fear-based thinking, Matt. <laughs> God, that's ridiculous. Anyway, every time I see someone with a mask, and I'm going to challenge most people. You may not, but I'm going to say the majority of, of our friends listening right now to What's Trending Today, and you should Facebook us this, facebook.com forward slash Jennifer Horn Radio or twitter.com at Jennifer Horn. Let me know. I'm fairly certain that a chunk of people feel the same way I do, that these people know something I don't. That is irrational fear. Okay, they're wearing a mask. It's not fashionable. Why else would you put a mask on your face? Be- Why do I they believe, do it, Matt? I believe in some uh, cultures it is um, uh, manners. They wear it because they To put a death are, mask on? Because they are sick themselves, so they wear the mask so they don't breathe on you. Okay. And Quite then... the reverse. You trust the cardboard to keep you safe when they've been <laughs> slobbering on the table, tray table in front of you on that little tiny well, they're supposed tin can to airplane to- you're getting on? <laughs> I just This is an irrational fear. Just telling you. Well, the only reason it's irrational fear is if they didn't have the mask on, I wouldn't think about it. But the mask <laughs> makes me crazy. Would it make you feel better if they wore like a, a complete hazmat suit? That would make me run. <laughs> I'd run for the door. This body doesn't run often. But there are a few instances when it does, when I'm being chased, and when there's a hazmat suit. Next that to is me. kind of terrifying when you see a dude walk up in an orange ha- yeah. hazmat suit. Yeah. Like, oh, don't worry. I'm the one that's sick. Uh <laughs> No. All right. Some sad news. Speaking of sickness, boxing icon Muhammad Ali was checked into the hospital this week for the second time in less than a month for follow-up care. He had a severe urinary tract infection. These things can be, if they go untreated, my mom ended up in the hospital, didn't even know she had one for four days. They can kill you if you don't figure out that something's wrong. He was initially hospitalized late at the end of last year. For what was supposed to be a mild case of pneumonia, but then they determined it was actually a UTI. And uh, they're saying that the family's hopeful. They say that he's going to recover soon, plans to celebrate his 73rd birthday at home. And uh, an Ali f- a spokesperson, Bob Gunnell, said the former heavyweight champion has kept a low pro, but he's feeling okay. Of course, he also has that long-running battle with Parkinson's disease. Yeah, boxing legend, you hate to hear that. To, well, he's so okay. I'll tell you a little story. Okay. I got to meet him. Okay. And I was never a big boxing fan growing up, but you, everybody knew Muhammad Ali. Of course. And so he was at a cable show, and I waited in line to get my picture taken with him. And mm-hmm. he hadn't talked to anybody because he has Parkinson's, so I think he just chooses not to try to speak. Yeah. When I went up to him, he went beautiful. And then he put his hand, and he, like, tapped down so I'd, like, sit next oh, to him. Oh, my God. Muhammad Ali called me pretty. <laughs> I did, I swear. Where's my bell? Ding, ding. I was so happy. I was like, I love you, Muhammad Ali. (laughs) That's adorable. That's a very cute story. I know. It made my day. Granted, I was probably like 23, so, you know, (laughs) maybe it was weird. (sighs) That's what's trending today. (laughs) I go get Alexa Pro, (laughs) Jennifer Horn, Matt Bessance on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at one 1-8- 8 666-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now. 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. Transitions are tough. When hopes and plans are tested, 
The musical Into the Woods tackles the time when something troubling can't be ignored. That's when building up your emotional reserves is vital. I always feel better when I play my bass guitar. I'm not thinking or worried. I just am. Stephen Sondheim's musical also reminds us to reach out to people, for truly, we are not alone. Just don't let it go. Things will come out right now. We can make it so. That's Primetime Focus brought to you by AARP. I'm Aileen Ellis. You order a glass of your favorite Cabernet, fresh asparagus, hollandaise on the side, a filet, medium rare. You unfurl your napkin with a flare, close your eyes, and prepare to listen. Ah, there it is. The sweet music you long to hear. The sizzle. The sizzle of a Roots Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef. Broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at rootschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Inventory isn't about products, kid. It's about money. Products sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves. I hate overstock. I hate understock. I hate wasting time. I hate wasting money. That's why I love Granger. Granger Keep Stock Solutions help us manage our facility's inventory so we have exactly what we need when we need it. No more, no less. It's inventory management my way. Get it? Got it? Good. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock for more information. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Your home of great comedy, the showroom at South Point presents Rob Schneider. Guys are much more insecure. Stand-up comic and veteran of NBC's Saturday Night Live. You never hear a guy go up to another guy and go, wow. January 16th and 17th. You're a really beautiful guy. Tickets at the box office, online at southpointcasino.com or charge by phone. 702-797-8055. I like what you do with your eyebrows. Rob Schneider at the South Point. Must be 18 or older. It is what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. That's Matt Bassan. And Maddie Matt, it is award season. And boys love award shows. Oh man, just like a good beauty pageant, boys love them. How about you? <laughs> well, about no. I'm going to just overwhelm you with awards because, uh oh. Here, you, you talk. You entertain the people. I dropped my story. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped a story. Uh, can we talk about anything else other than awards? No, okay. Because I, I mean, it. absolutely Ooh. nothing. It's nothing but the, this the, is what the happens. rich. Impri- can we bring Ricky Gervais back? No, this is what happens when can you're. We, um, we can't bring him back. We love yes, him. we need to bring him back. I love Tina Fey and Amy Poehler as much as the next guy, but Ricky Gervais just slayed it. Was, I'm all about him. Nah, he was yeah. kind of. Not everybody got him. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler hosted the Golden Globes this week, and of course, the fashion, the award winners, George Clooney, everybody was trending. <laughs> like I threw George Clooney in there. But uh, mm-hmm. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler did what they said was their last time Good. hosting the Golden Globe Awards, although there is a social media campaign in full effect right now saying, hey, we want to make these guys the permanent hosts of the Golden Globes. I think they do a great job. I think they were very funny. They were a little edgy with the Bill Cosby jokes, but I have to admit, very, very funny stuff. I mean, they're, they're funny, but it always seems hacky when anyone else does it. Ricky Gervais is just like, you know, I'm going to slay everyone. I don't care. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, I don't know. There's an, there is also a campaign for Ricky to come back. I just, you know, not a big fan. Maybe it just was missed on me. He's more of a guy humor kind of guy. Very much so. <laughs> 
All right, so the Golden Globe winners for motion pictures, the drama Boyhood took the top honor of the night. This is that movie that follows this little boy for 12 years of his life. Yeah. Which is why it's one. I haven't watched it yet, but I have this feeling that anything that's difficult to to film like, you know, if you have to gain weight for a role or if you have to change your appearance or if you have to tape something over 12 years, these are the kind of things that people just dig on in these academies. So, Boyhood, the big winner for mm-hmm. um, musical or comedy, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Also, have not seen that. I'm, de- I'm seeing a trend develop here. Actor was Eddie Redmayne from The Theory of Everything. Director was Richard Linkletter from Boyhood. And then you have your actor, musical or comedy, and that was Michael Keaton for Birdman. That guy's yeah. career has just absolutely done a 180. He's back in the spotlight again and getting jobs. Good for him. And he gave a great speech, a great acceptance speech. Did you know his son is a songwriter? I didn't. And he makes buku bucks. Holy for, like, crap. For pop singers and st- yeah, huh. rappers. And he just made, he rakes in the money. Wow. Good for him. Uh, musical or comedy actress was Amy Adams in Big Eyes. And then you had supporting actor was J.K. Simmons in Whiplash. Supporting actress was Patricia Arquette in Boyhood. And then best actress in a drama was Julianne Moore in Still Alice. Have to say, love Julianne Moore's dress. She you know, was wearing with silver sparkles and feathers. And anytime you movies, can bring sequins and feathers together in one. I'm not a fashion. All about it. I don't even know what all that means. Means shiny feathers. <laughs> oh, okay. Equals Jen okay. Hart's <laughs> Maybe that Maybe that's more of a conversation for you and Courtney. Yeah, the girls in the office already <laughs> raped over the coals, everybody. That you two can looks go good at and bad. it for hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the television side of things, because Golden Globes, this is, you know, if I had to pick an award show to, show to go to, forget the Oscars, the Golden Globes looks like fun, because everybody's sitting together, you have TV and you have movies, and you just, everybody's having a good time, the champagne's flowing, it looks like it looks like so much more fun than the Oscars, the Oscars gets a little too dramatic for me. Oh, they're all serious. On the television side, the best drama series was The Affair, best dramatic actor was Kevin Spacey, House of Cards, and best uh, actress on the drama side was Ruth Wilson for The Affair. Uh, all cable shows or Netflix, you know, alternative. Yeah. They're no, nothing on the networks. Um, best series, musical or comedy was transparent. That, that That's the show with the focus on the transgender person, I believe. Yeah, I think it's on uh, Amazon Prime, if I recall. Yeah, correctly. actor, uh, also Jeffrey Tambor from Transparent One for best actor, musical or comedy. Best actress, musical or comedy. This was the surprise of the night. Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin. This is a show that's on the CW that I guess I'm going to have to start watching now. I think that was the only network one that won anything. I know. The CW. You know, they're yeah. like, oh, my gosh. The CW what? Could you say that again? <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> so good for them. They're a real underdog. What so that's is great. NBC? I know. <laughs> It's perfect. Uh, so congratulations to all the winners. Everybody looked beautiful. I bet Tina Fey, Amy Puller did a great job. They were trending all week. Now later in the week, the Critics Choice Awards mm-hmm. occurred. So this is when all the critics get together and put a huge list of categories. I mean, oh my gosh, you think this is kind of like the People's Choice Awards. They have action movies. They they give you multiple categories. It's not just about the dramatic films. I just picked a few. Okay. But again, Best Picture was Boyhood. Yeah. Best Actor, again, Michael Keaton for Birdman. And Best Actress was Julianne Moore and Still Alice. Just like the Golden Globes. Best Director, also Richard Linklater for Boyhood. Best Comedy, The Grand Budapest Hotel. So really... Uh, the Golden Globes must have got it right in the critics' mind because this is all, you know, either matching that, up. Either that or the critics just gave awards to both both award ceremonies. No, they might have. Might have done Scandalous. that. Scandalous. Best actress in a comedy was Jenny Slate in Obvious Child. I have not even heard of that movie. Best actor in a comedy and also best actor overall. Michael Keaton won both of those for Birdman. Best animated feature was the Lego movie. Here's where we get into the real stuff that people have seen. Best action movie was Guardians of the Galaxy, which I totally agree yeah. with. It was great. Best sci-fi horror movie was Interstellar, which was okay. It was just like four hours too long in my estimation. <laughs> too much Matthew McConaughey? No, never. Never. <laughs> it was just kind of a weird story. You know, boys that I know that saw it loved it. Girls were like, there's some holes in the story. but oh, Only girls would pay attention to the storyline and not the fantastic imagery that it's supposed to paint. That's right. All right, the nominations for the Oscars came out this week as well. Best Picture nominees, only eight this year. There could have been ten. American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash, actor in a leading role, Steve Carell for Foxcatcher, Bradley Cooper, American Sniper, Benedict Cumberbatch, The Imitation Game, Ooh. Michael Keaton, Birdman, and Eddie Redmayne, The Theory of Everything. Everything. Actress in a leading role, Mary
Marion Cotier, I think is how you say it, two days, one night. Felicity Jones, The Theory of Everything. Wow. Julianne Moore, still Alice. Rosamund Pike, Gone Girl. I'm voting for her. She played crazy That's really well in that movie. Quite the lineup. And Reese Witherspoon in Wild. Uh, actor in a supporting role, Robert Duvall, Ethan Hawke, Ed Norton, Mark Ruffalo, and J.K. Simmons. And actress in a supporting role, Patricia Arquette, Laura Dern, Emma Stone, Kira Knightley, and Meryl Streep. A lot of people have not Big seen names. the Oscar-winning pictures this year. The eight movies nominated for Best Picture are the lowest-grossing group since the Academy Awards expanded from five nominees in 2009. The eight movies have only earned a combination of 203.1 million, more than 300 million less than the previous low in 2011. Wow. That's a lot. That's a huge, 300 million less. And if, that was the low. If you had 300 million dollars, what would you be doing? Not uh, sitting right here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, I would. I love doing this. Are you kidding? You'd be doing it from I home. I would just be doing it in my silk pajamas like Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Not worrying about what I <laughs> had to do and finish next. <laughs> it is What's Trending Today. Jennifer and Matt is on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm a mid-century architectural wonder. A house made entirely of glass. So you can imagine my fright when giant pieces of hail started falling from the sky. Did I mention I'm made entirely of glass? Everyone was running here, running there, trying to get out of the house. But what am I to do? I am the house. Your house can't protect itself. That's why the GEICO Insurance Agency helps make it easy to switch and save on homeowner's insurance. You could save even more when you combine your homeowners with an existing auto insurance policy. Call GEICO, go to GEICO.com, or visit your local office. For 20 years, you've trusted Lumber Liquidators for the best deals on the best selection of floors. Well, this week, get even more deals in our January flooring sale. One beautiful hardwood, get pre-finished solid hardwood from $189. How about gorgeous bamboo that's twice as hard as oak? We've got strand bamboo for $219. Looking for top quality laminates? This week, get almost half off our thickest and best laminate, plus other great flooring deals. And 18-month special financing. Don't wait. The January flooring sale's going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Homeowners, now is the season to be thinking about your roof because all it takes is one storm to turn a small roof problem into a major leak. If it's time for a new roof, call Sears at 888-465-9720. You can save $500 if you call right now. Sears licensed, fully insured contractors can get your roofing job done right. Just call 888-465-9720. Sears has a variety of shingles and styles that are built for long-lasting performance, and you'll save $500 if you call now. So call Sears for a free and home consultation at 888-465-9720. Hurry, offer ends soon. Not available in all areas. Installation provided by Sears Authorized Licensed Contractors. License information available upon request. That's Sears Roofing. Call right now and save $500. Call 888-465-9720. 888-465-9720. Call Sears now and get that roof repaired. Call 888-465-9720. Welcome back. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. That's Matt Besson. Sure is. Some celebrity news now, Matt. Okay. I and don't call him Ian Ziering. You watch Celebrity Apprentice? No. He gets, I should, though. He gets, It's a great show. He gets so mad when people call him Ian. Because he's Ian. Ian? Ian, Ziering. <laughs> is it like Ion? <laughs> Ion. Well, the weather report, not looking so good for Ian, Ziering, and Tara Reid, because they're going to have to face another Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Because two were totally believable. The third is going to be extra believable. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a second one? Oh, yeah. They did Sharknado 1 in Los Angeles, Sharknado 2 in New York. Now Sharknado 3. Oh. Florida. No, it's going to wreak havoc on Washington, D.C. <laughs> Why Washington, Which is, Florida would be so much better. No, I think uh, D.C. is going to be great because you have all those political sharks. Maybe they'll get sucked up oh, in the Sharknado. Oh, I see what you did there. The eastern seaboard will be great. <laughs> now, there was word, Ian, don't call me Ian Ziering, was going to be back for sure. But Tara Reid was up in the air because she's been, like, drinking and posing naked and stuff. So I don't think, I don't know if people were, you know, thinking she was going to be around. But she is. And uh, so this is good. She'll be Finn's ex-wife back again. This movie will premiere in July. They start filming, I think, this spring. So there you there you have it. Ooh. Sharknado 3 coming to sci-fi. Mariah Carey in the news and trending this week. This is one I'm actually, you know, at first I was like, uh, wah, wah. But then I thought. <laughs> Wait, you were what? Wah, 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 wah. 
<laughs> but I thought that, um, you know, is it sunk in? I kind of might want to see this. She's going to okay. perform her first ever Las Vegas residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Caesars has been looking for someone to replace Celine Dion. Mm, didn't they just go bankrupt? They did. Probably because of Mariah's uh, demands. Oh, my God. You're total right. diva. <laughs> that, that also happened this week. You're right. Caesars did file for bankruptcy protection. Uh, but this is something she announced during a what she called misty-eyed appearance. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Everything is a misty-eyed appearance. Appearance. Uh, on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh she said, God. quote, it's a new chapter for me and I'm just excited about it. The show's going to be called The Number Ones. She's going to update all of her 18 chart toppers this year. She'll also have some new music. The, um, uh, the website, Caesars Palace website, caesarspalace.com, had Mar- Mariah Carey poking fun at herself as she dressed up as a housekeeper and surprised a handful of fans at Caesars Palace with free tickets to her new show. You know, for some reason, every time she opens her mouth, I just hear what her publicist is telling her to say. Oh, no. I like Mariah. I don't like her. Uh-huh. I hate divas. May 6th is when the show starts, so you don't have to buy your tickets. <laughs> okay, thank God. But I might go. <laughs> I saw Celine Dion. I didn't want to because Celine's always so dramatic. You know, she... Hits her chest when she sings, you know. Oh, yeah. and, and so it's kind of like she was a little too dramatic for me, but my friend uh, wanted to see her for her birthday. And so we went to Vegas and saw, saw Celine. She was good. You Caesars like doesn't mess around with the show quality. No. Of so, course not. you know, and I've seen Elton John at Caesars. He's really good. Oh, you, how was that? That was awesome. That was Amazing. really, really good. His piano changes colors. <gasps> yeah. That is cool. Did he tell you you were awesome. beautiful? No, I was too far away. Oh. He's like, yeah, he that little spe- No, no, he wouldn't have. Yes, he would. Muhammad Ali. He would have said it. Afflictions. I trick him. I trick him that way. Is that how you trick me? All right. Bethany Frankel in the news. I love that name, Frankel. 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 Bethany Frankel. She had the TV show. It's gone now. She also has the Skinny Girl product line. Have you had any of the Skinny Girl? It's like alcohol that's not so many calories, but it's not so good either, allegedly. I have not had it, but I've heard of it. It's like margaritas and, you know, like it's skinny. It's cute. She also has like shapewear, I think. It sounds like a fake diet plan, Skinny Girl. Skinny Girl. Fake. Um, I'm going to do not so skinny girl. That's going to be my diet line. It's just going to have regular food in it. Isn't that genius? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so Bethany Frankel has decided to jump onto the pot bandwagon. She's doing research in dispensaries in Aspen, Colorado. Over the holidays, she was checking them all out. And she just revealed to Us Weekly this week that she's planning on launching Skinny Girl Marijuana. It's a strain of pot mm. that's designed to not give you the munchies. Really? Can you imagine these girls walking, going, oh, the skinny girl marijuana, please? See, now this is kind of like the, the whole Cali thing where everything is all about kale and fresh veggies and stuff. This is going to be like a new thing and it's going to be pointless. Yeah, it, people are making a big deal about oh, yeah. it now. It's just weird to come up with your own skinny girl strain of marijuana. It's just bizarre. But well, hey, one of the pre- reasons people don't like pot so much is because it makes them hungry. So, oh, you know. You not. You, this is skin. You don't get hungry. You, what are you eating that you dislike that? Like, <laughs> okay, people don't like, be okay, like so, Cheeto. Okay, maybe people. Taco Bell might not be the best thing. It, it, it disagrees with you, baby. Come on. It was it? You said Colorado Papa John's. Papa Done. John's. I know. And Done. Peyton Manning owns them. You'll Done. be supporting them. Yeah, there you go. All right. I sometimes watch QVC when I'm home with my cat. <laughs> Sometimes I like to flip around the uh, QVC and home shopping (laughs) network, see what's going on. One of the major stars at QVC is Isaac Mizrahi. He's also on uh, Project Runway. He's a big designer. He does clothes, shoes, purses, everything. Yes. Well, there was a funny segment, and it's been trending all week. If you get a chance, check out the video. It is QVC host Sean Killinger. And Isaac Mizrahi debating whether the moon is a planet or a star. Shut up. Here's really? how it went. Killinger says, isn't the moon a star? Isaac Mizrahi, no, the moon is a planet, darling. <laughs> like, I love how he says, no, it's a planet, darling. Like, he just knows it all. Like, he's just, he's totally gotten it right, darling. <laughs> a little joking. condescending much? I got the perfect song. Sean Killinger says, don't look at me like that. The sun is a star. Isaac Mizrahi says, I don't know what the sun is. Just for the record, the moon, the Earth's only natural satellite, is neither. These people are on TV. 
I know. They're on TV. You have and we to. we allow it. We allow it. I just love it. I mean, okay, so the QVC girl's kind of like, well, it is, right? Right? We, you know, she's kind of right. Uh, no, the moon is a planet, darling. Like, duh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it. my God. The moon you know is what? the moon. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the moon is part of the galaxy. It, there you go. And Done. that would be true. <laughs> I know. Gwyneth Paltrow hit up the Howard Stern show this week. She was a guest. And she talked about and dished, really, on her famous ex-boyfriends, Brad Pitt and Ben Affleck. Do you know how much I want to be Gwyneth Paltrow? <gasps> That's hey. a nice lineup. Eh. I didn't love her husband so much, but it's a nice lineup of dating. She seems like way too um, prissy. Maybe. She said, speaking about the paparazzi attention surrounding her time with Brad Pitt in the 90s, she admitted, quote, I'm sure it was a good thing for my career. I definitely fell in love with him. He was so gorgeous and sweet. I mean, he was Brad Pitt. He said that her father, Bruce, was devastated when she broke up with him and loved Brad. She also said that she was such a kid. That's why they broke up. It's taken me until 40 to get my head out of my hmm hmm. And you can't make that decision when you're 22 years old. I wasn't ready. He was too good for me. I didn't know what I was doing. She said, if we see him now, we're friendly, but they don't hang out. So there you go. Now on to Ben Affleck. She said, when you're in your 20s, you get swept up. You tend to be more shallow. You think that being with a good looking person validates you in some way. And said that Affleck was not in a good place in his life to have a girlfriend. And so that's what ultimately led to the breakup. But she's still friends with them. She loves them. She says he's great. And she's also friends with his wife. So Jennifer Garner, they go out on girls' nights together. Yeah. Kind of cool. All right. Up ahead, shoelaces that tie themselves. I want some. What's I'm trending today that. on CRN Digital Talk Radio? Do you have unfiled tax returns or owe the IRS or state more than $10,000? If you don't take action now, your tax problem is going to get worse, much worse. Seizure of property, bank levies, wage garnishments, and potential criminal prosecution. And if you owe the IRS back payroll taxes, chances are you will be visited at your home or business by an IRS agent. Don't become paralyzed by fear. Take action now. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield for help. Our team of experienced tax attorneys can get you protected. Stop collections and negotiate a permanent settlement with the IRS and state, potentially saving you thousands of dollars. At U.S. Tax Shield, our tax advisors will review your case for free, inform you of your rights, and give you a guaranteed quote. No games and no tricky upsells. That's why we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Put an end to your torment. Get protected. Get the shield. Call U.S. Tax Shield now at 800-211-8753. That's 800-211-8753. 800-211-8753. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse in Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. If you haven't been to Columbo's, you don't know what you're missing. Delicious food. The steaks on this side are fabulous. The seafood so fresh and flavorful. Columbo's family Italian specialties are Southern California legendary. And the meatballs, the best in the West, North, South, and East. Plus service that's friendly but not fawning. And jazz every night and it's also affordable. That's what makes Colombo special. And they make special easy. Whether for breakfast, lunch or dinner. That's why when you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's. Because it really is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Colombo's. Making special easy every day. Colombo's. Manja. Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at one 8 6 6 6 6 6 9 80 9 54. That's 1 8 6 6 6 6 9 80 9 54. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now 1 8 6 6 6 6 9 80 9 54. That's 1 8 6 6 6 6 9 80 9 54. 36 month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. Welcome back. It is What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. That's Matt Besant. 
Now, you know, sometimes you get up in the morning, you take your shower, got to strap on those shoes and tie your shoelaces. <laughs> I like slip-ons. What a, exactly. What an ordeal, right? Deal totally. with those laces. Well, it's been 26 years since we saw them magically tightening in Back to the Future really? with Marty McFly. Remember that? Oh, it's been that long. He had those Nike boots oh, in Back God. to the Future. Well, now self-tying shoelaces could become a reality as soon as this year. That would be so cool. Proving right, one of the film's fantastical predictions for what 2015 would be like. So see, they were right about that. Engineers have designed a shoe that can automatically lace up, adjusting itself to the shape of your foot so you get a perfect fit. You don't have to do that weird hoopy doopy thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> hoopy doopy thing? Well, you know, when you have to like tighten the beginning. Just, the shoelaces are confusing. No, I tie them once and then the, the rest of the time they're slip-ons. Oh, perfect. That's the way I rock it, man. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Matt yeah. Besson special. What you do is you simply slip on your shoe. You slip the trainer on, and the pressure sensors will tell the smart shoe when your foot is in position, triggering a tiny motor in the heel that pulls the laces tight. When you want to take off the shoes, this is the best part, you click your heels together twice, and the motor will release the spring in the shoe's tongue, which loosens the laces enough for you to slip them off. This sounds like something that would have been in uh, CES. Yeah. That no, just wrapped up. Absolutely. The uh, invention doesn't even need to be plugged in or charged because it runs on power generated by the swing of your foot. That's cool. As you walk. That is cool. Is that awesome or what? (laughs) I want one now. I think this is great. I mean, think about all the, uh, I mean, the implications for this. Old people, right? Who can't, I mean, think, uh, seriously, when my grandparents, they'd always wear slip-ons because they didn't want to have to bend over or fall over. I mean, this would be so great. So then what happens when they uh, malfunction and you can't get them off? Well, that you just cut them off with scissors. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have to buy a new pair. But I would like this for boots because, you know, girls wear those big, tall boots. Uh, and sometimes those are hard to take off. Are they? I love it. They if don't have zippers go. on the side? Well, zipper boots are fine. But the ones that don't have zippers are hard to take off. Yeah. Not. I don't understand that. Bad news if you're a fan of Radio Shack. They're filing for bankruptcy. They've been trending all week. They're uh, going to oh, file as soon as early February. They're in talks with lenders to secure financing during the bankru- bankruptcy process, as uh, well with the private equity firm that may be interested in buying its assets. Not a huge surprise. You walk into Radio Shack, it's kind of like a no-go zone. Some things are a little too pricey there. Well, and there's not a lot there. It's a lot of cables that I don't know what to do with. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I would probably, I don't know, there's just no interest for me to go into Radio Shack. <laughs> You're not a techie. In and out. I don't need to look at wires. They I all love look the me same. Some in and out. They all look the same to me. I hope they never go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's going to do it for us. But don't forget that you can go to our website, crntalk.com, catch information about all the shows on the CRN network. But you can listen to our podcast, crntalk.com forward slash what's trending today. Check it out. Follow us on Facebook. Let me know uh, what you'd like to see trending next week on the show, facebook.com forward slash Jennifer Horn Radio. For Matt Passant, I'm Jennifer wishing you a great week, everybody. CRN Digital Talk Radio prides itself on being the station of every situation. Of course, you can always listen live through your local cable TV provider, as well as on our website at crntalk.com. But if cutting-edge technology is more your style, you'll be happy to know that CRN is now available on Wi-Fi radio. Simply log on to Receiva.com. That's R-E-C-I-V-A dot com and look for CRN. You can access all of our great shows and listen live anywhere in the world. Be part of your favorite shows and get the full CRN listening experience you would have with any traditional radio, podcast, or a live stream from our website. For more information on where or how to listen, and for a full list of our programming, log on to crntalk.com and create your own listening experience today.